Now, you know about big O notation, right? You use it to quote unquote hide constant factors and to focus on the asymptotic behavior over anything that happens on finite inputs. Those are kind of classically the things we have decided to care about. And it's such a basic assumption that maybe you should think about this over a cup of coffee at some point. Why is it reasonable? Or when is it reasonable? But I digress. What I want to tell you about today is O star and O tilde. O star comes up when analyzing exponential time algorithms. It's like big O, but it hides polynomial factors, not just constants. The reason you might do that is that if you have something exponential like c to the n, then even for normal big O, any improvement in c beats all polynomial factors. 1.9 to the n times n to the 100 is small o of 2 to the n. For large enough n, any difference in the base will exceed any polynomial factors. This works pretty well for exponential runtimes, where we know specifically that it's the polynomial factors we don't care about. But then there is O tilde. A function g of n is O tilde f of n if it is big O f n times polylog f n. It's a similar idea to O star, but instead of polynomial factors, it says we don't care about anything polylogarithmic in the thing that we're talking about. So for singly exponential runtimes, it's the same, but merge sort, for example, has runtime O tilde of n, and incidentally, O star of one. For sorting, we might care about that log factor, but often we don't really worry about some messy polylog terms like log squared over log log n or whatever, and that's where you tend to see O tilde. So uh, now you know what that is.